what we really need to watch is not what's happening in the battlefield right now. It's what's happening at training centers that U.S. runs in Germany, Grafenbeer Hohenfels, UK, uh, Poland, uh, Ukraine itself, where entire new brigades are being established, largely with new recruits from Ukraine, but also with some seasoned uh, commissioned and non-commissioned officers. Uh, over time, will be equipped with Western tanks uh, or with the residual uh, Soviet bloc uh, systems. Uh, Western infantry fighting vehicles, uh, Western wheeled armored vehicles, really quite an extraordinary array uh, of systems. And this late May, early June, there is going to be a heck of an offensive from the Ukrainians, very likely in the south. It probably has to be roughly the Melitopol area. And they will try to sever the ground line of communications that Russia has established along the southeast coast of Ukraine, linking into Crimea. I believe that they are going to achieve for the first time in this war true combined arms effects because they will, for the first time, Russians have not at all done this. They have failed from day one. They have sent tanks just right down the road without infantry. The Ukrainians will have tanks with infantry in infantry fighting vehicles, keeping the enemy's infantry and their anti-tank guided missiles off those tanks. Uh, they will have engineers and EOD to reduce obstacles and defuse explosives and mines. Uh, they will have air defense to keep the Russian air off them. Uh, they'll have electronic warfare to jam the Russians' networks. They'll have artillery and mortars to suppress uh, the enemy forces. Uh, they'll have good command and control. They'll have logistics pushed right up behind them with additional arms, ammunition, or arms, fuel, uh, water, food, medical support. And they'll have reserve forces, which they did not have in the offensive in the Kharkiv area last fall that was very impressive, but basically culminated, ran out of steam because human beings can only go for about 72 hours-ish before they just physically no longer have any capacity to do much on the battlefield. We reached that point, by the way. We proved this during the fight to Baghdad a couple of different times. Um, I believe that's what's going to happen. And the question then, and we might actually ask the DA privately later, <laughs> the question then is, can Putin over time be convinced that he will not be able to outsuffer the Ukrainians, the Europeans, and the Americans, which is what he currently thinks. He thinks that, again, Russians, just like they did to Napoleon's army and the Nazis, that they're going to prevail over time because they have more fortitude. 